Do you want to start a business? Have you not started your dream business because of a lack of capital? In this video, we will be talking about how to start a business so that you will have a better source of income, even if you don't have enough money to invest. Hi, welcome to Mami Negosyo's Business Tips number 21. There are three points I want you to remember. Point one, understand that you should never start big. What I've learned from my 40 years in business is that it's a blessing when you don't put in a lot of money when you start. Because when you fail, you won't lose much. Let me repeat, it's a blessing not to have so much money to start. For you to remember better, I'd like you to type blessing in the comments, okay? So you'll remember the lesson. I have met many OFWs who make this big mistake and many are still making it now. They think that they'll save millions while they're still abroad and then they'll come home, they put their millions in one big business. Just last week, I mentored an OFW who was a baker. He started a bakery with all his savings and he did not even know that his business was failing. If he did not come to me, he would have lost everything. So please tell your friends, the OFWs, not to make this, mi this mistake, okay? All right. Now, I also know of retirees who use their retirement millions to put up a business and then they lose it all. So again, please warn your friends, your relatives, the retirees. This brings me to point two. Building a business is like learning how to lift weights in the, in the gym. You don't become Heidi Lynn Diaz on your first day at the gym, right? Even if you have read 10,000 books about, uh, about weightlifting or watched 10,000 videos on YouTube about the same topic, you're sure to fail, right? Yes, I remember my late cousin Wilson. When he decided to be a plantito, he bought a few plants first and then he learned. From there, he consulted others who have been long-term, long-time plantitas and he learned from them. Now, over the years, by growing his plants, he grew his plantito muscles. And before he died, he grew his garden to have the best orchids and bromeliads in the city of Zamboanga. Was that a good story about Wilson the plantito? Okay, type P, the letter P, if you think it was a good story. So, just like weightlifting, learning by experiencing a small business first is the right thing to do. Build and strengthen your business muscles first and then use your learning to grow the same business or put up a larger business. Last point, number three. Open your eyes and see that there are many businesses that you can start small. How do you start? Small. So to remember this lesson, I'd like you to type the word small. One of my mentees just baked cakes from her oven using the equipment and small appliances with which she already had at home. Okay, all she started with was just over 2,000 pesos when she started selling over Facebook. Another mentee made and sold homemade soaps by starting at only a few thousand pesos to buy ingredients and soap molds. So, these mentees did not start with a big capital. They started small even if they had bigger savings so that if they commit mistakes, they can start again. They chose to build their muscles first. They learned and applied what I taught so that they can build the big houses of many branches or the bigger soap factory of their dreams. There, I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, please make sure to share this video with a fellow aspiring entrepreneur. And join our community by clicking the link below to learn more. See you in the next video.